It feels good to have Pembroke back on the field after taking a little trip with my elves of Cardigan. And this is what you've all been waiting for, a 2,500 point battle report. So let's go over the units. Leading the army is Prince Gabriel. You know him, you love him. He has been upgraded with the uh, heroic trait, turn the line, allows him to take a free maneuver. Over to his left, our right, we have Piper. She's gonna be a level two human spellcaster. And then we have Shadow Captain Guy Wallace. Over on the left, we have Ileana Godina, the level three necromancer. She has been upgraded with the Lich special ability. And we have the Bargast back, Ghost. You see her there. We got a company of 20 human skeleton, uh, 20 skeleton soldiers, 15 skeleton soldiers. The war corgis back there, human heavy cavalry, there's five of them. First and second bows, 10 and nine each. And then we have 14 human warriors, Gabriel's own. Then we got first spear, second spear running a little short with 10 guys, and then the human medium cavalry, the uh, house guard. All together, it is 2,492 points ready to take on the forces of the Mithril Alliance in this border clash. We welcome Chris back to the channel, and he has brought 2,500 points of the Mithril Alliance. Chris, yes, take us through. Mithril Alliance. So, being led by Prince Rock himself here in the front, I'm not sure what unit he's going to join yet. Yeah. <laughs> he has that ability. And we'll go left to right. So over here, I got the goblin faction uh, for the unit. There's a goblin commander right there with a flag. Because Captain? Captain, yep. Because they can't bring Bori because Bori was wounded in the previous battle. So Bori is not in this faction. No legendary hero. Just that goblin captain. And I got a unit of 14 goblin soldiers behind him and a unit of 15 goblin soldiers behind that. Over here, I've got... Oh, front to back, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've got Gilly Two Shields, if you remember him from a far earlier uh, battle report. He's going to be my Dwarven Champion. And this Dwarven Champion is going to join this group of uh, 19 Dwarven Line Breakers right there. And then behind them, I've got a Goblin Catapult. And the Dragon Beast is back. It is a Serva. <laughs> Only one of them this time. It's all my conscience will bear. <laughs> and then, over here in the front, I've got two spellcasters. This is a dwarven level two spellcaster, and then this is a goblin level two spellcaster. There in the front. I've got a unit of 15 dwarven soldiers behind them, a unit of 10 dwarven uh, spearmen behind them. The goblin wolf riders are back. Now these guys actually have battle honors for this game. Okay. So they're gonna be 20 points more expensive <laughs> for that one dice roll. It might be crucial in morale or uh, Act or activation so we'll see but there's my goblin wolf riders returning and then over here i'm going to have a unit of 15 dwarven border guards so they're going to be able to have accurate fire but not aim over and then over here you hash that completely you can have aim fire but not fire over <laughs> yeah switch the words and then i'm right <laughs> mostly <laughs> yeah and then back here just the same thing you have 10 dwarven border guards and all together that is going to create my list for tonight Okay, so I'm going to set the board as the defender, and then we are going to roll off. It's either going to be a pitch battle or wind and rain. We will see after the train is set up. 2,500 points on each side, and it looks beautiful. Now, this is a border strike. We're meeting into the, in the lands between the two kingdoms, the Mithril Alliance and Pembroke. So we play on this brown map. It's kind of a, a desolate area, but we have wandered across this little village here. So we have a church, a little townhouse, a farmer farming some dirt. Trees are going to be decorative only. We have a hill. The person closest to the center of the hill gets plus one to their defense, but it is difficult terrain. A uh, couple of fences over here, so also benefit if you're wholly behind it for defense. And then one inch to go up and one inch to go down, so it's going to move, uh, reduce your movement by two. And then we play that lake as impossible terrain because I don't want to break the cool stuff that our friends from Europe <laughs> gave us. So, Chris, you want to talk about the scenario real quick? Yeah, so we uh, we rolled because on Border Strike, it, it really feels bad to be the um, attacker because uh, the defender is able to get something of equal value, basically, if they win. So we house ruled to only getting Pitch Battle or Wind and Rain uh, on this uh, type of Border Clash is the name of our attack, right? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I just said it, but I don't remember. Oh, nice. Okay. It's Border Clash. We yeah. have a lot on our minds. <laughs> border Clash. <laughs> border Clash. And so uh, we rolled the dice, and it came up as Pitch Battle. So in this scenario, at the end of the game, whoever has taken out more points worth of the other player's units is going to win this battle and get a border territory. 
In the case of a tie, I do get the win as I am the defender, though. Right. It's unlikely a case. So, Chris, let's go over yeah. your unit, starting with your uh, Sumra over here. Okay, so the idea is to place my either faster or less commandable units <laughs> on mm -hmm. the flanks. So the Sumer is out here because he can't be commanded. He doesn't really need to be in range of any commanders or anything. And he is a power force on his own. So mm -hmm. he's out on the side, backed up by a unit of uh, Dwarf Spearmen. I saw Calvary on that side. I figure if someone's going to get charged, it might be them. Maybe they'll survive with just a tiny bit better. So we'll put him there. I got the Dwarf Soldiers here, uh, and then some of the Dwarf Border Guards behind them. I've got the dwar uh, Goblin Catapult. This is uh, Vile Crow. This is kind of placed here in the center, back just a little bit. Can almost reach Michael in the first round, but not entirely. Too bad it doesn't have any crew to shoot me with. Oh, they're uh, they're they're coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They just they're having a group meeting just back here on the battlefield, right? <laughs> a little tea break. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, it's time. All right. So here is the uh, Lion Breaker unit with the Prince over here in the center, able to command a lot of units. Back behind him, got the Dwarven Mage. Uh, he is facing forward. And I've spells. Got Spells. Uh, I have put Fleetfoot and Stoneheart on the mage, so able to make someone go faster or a more difficult casting gives someone some defense. I've got a 15-man Dwarven Soldier unit right over here on the right. And then over here on the far flank, I've got the Goblin Wolf Riders. I've got a, a unit of Goblin Soldiers behind them. Now they are supported with the Goblin um, Commander. Captain. <laughs> Captain over here on the far side. Just barely able to fit in uh, with, with the range from model to model. And then I've got the uh, stronger unit of 15 border guards over here. And then finally behind them, I have the Goblin Mage. Goblin Mage also has Fleet Foot, just like the Dwarven Mage. But I picked Weakness <laughs> for that Goblin Mage, which is kind of the same thing as Stoneheart, but reverse. If I get to cast off, I pick a unit to get minus one attack for the battle. And what's that casting number? Eight. Okay. Just like the Stoneheart. Oof. All right, so Gabriel, Gabriel's own, is over here anchoring the left flank behind him. Piper, she has seized the initiative, casting number eight, and Afflict, which would be minus one to shooting attacks, casting number six. Got the medium household guard right here. First spear leading the way, second spear right behind him in the center. We got both units of archers here, first and second company. The captain is back here. Shout out Captain Guy Wallace. The War Corgis there with a nice little advance through the field. And then we have a unit of skeletons, a 15-man unit of skeleton soldiers. We have the Necromancer, Ileana Godina. And then on the far right, the Barghast, the face off against the Sumra. Hopefully not. <laughs> so, Chris, that yeah. should do it. I think so. Good, good luck play. to you, sir. Yeah, now, good luck. Uh, what we've taken to doing is we're going to play the two first two rounds off camera. We'll recap each one of them, and then starting in round three, we'll come back and actually show you what's going on Get right in the action nine five nine two it will be me so we'll be Close. back after round one all right that's the end of turn one and chris you want to describe your lines real quick for us okay i took everything and moved it forward a little bit <laughs> okay and besides that i did get the casting off with the dwarf mage on the cast of eight which gave this unit plus one defense the super line breaker unit so really excited about that uh, over here, I was able to get the casting off as well with the Goblin Mage, who went and cast Fleet Foot on the, uh, the battle-honored Goblin Wolf Riders there in the front. So they're a little bit faster now. Not as successful on my side as Piper failed to get a casting number six spell. She tried to cast Afflict. 75% uh, chance she rolled the 25% chance where she doesn't get it. Mm -hmm. uh, help them in place and wield these guys over to the left. Second spear jumped out ahead of first spear because we didn't want to mess with the catapult too much. It uh, wasn't a matter because uh, Chris decided not to shoot with it. He moved it instead. Both archers went forward nine inches. Uh, the war corgis failed their activation as they seem to do a lot. But it didn't really matter. I didn't want to push them out there too far anyway. Skeletons moved up. Ileana Godina failed to activate, so no spell for her either. And the Bargast ghost has moved forward behind the house. So that should be it for turn one, and it looks great. I'm loving the look of it. Yeah, yeah. Initiative roll is a 10-5. Good roll. 6-4. It's to you. All right, so we're going to go ahead and reset the board and come back. <laughs> All, right. Okay, <laughs> All right, this is the end of turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This is yeah. the end of turn two. Uh -huh. And since I'm playing Chris, it seems like it's in turn 22. <laughs> no. I have not gone that slow. It's so pretty. I wasn't implying that. It's yeah. just... 
Uh, well, we'll start on my side <laughs> as Piper fails to cast uh, again. A flip again. Uh, she did activate. These uh, guys moved up, and these guys moved up behind to support the prince. In the center, we passed activation here, but not here with first company. And the first company got hit by catapult, lost three guys, but passed activation. Both of the companies of bow did a little bit of work with uh, the second company doing a wound there, and first company taking off two yeah. of the line breakers there, despite their armor twelve. That's a fireball this unit. I did. I'm not there yet, but Sorry. we're getting there. We're getting there. It's okay. Do it again. <laughs> Dare you. The skeletons have uh, pushed up ahead of the war corgis here as we wanted to see what the sermon was doing. Uh, these skeletons, I think, passed. Well, we did get a fireball off here with Ileana Godina taking off another one of the spearmen. Chris passed those three morale checks with no issues. It wasn't wasn't a lot of damage. And then the bar gets discorporated over here. Now, Chris, your side. Okay, so I got more uh, spell casts off, which was great for me. Uh, I got Fleet Foot up on this Dwarven Soldier unit who ran up really quickly. Uh, I ran up quickly with my Prince uh, Linebreaker unit uh, up here, so they're all pretty much about the same distance up here. Goblins ran up here. Now, I, I was fortunate enough to, when I cast Fleet Foot on this unit with the Goblin Mage, get just at range 20 of that shot. Uh, maybe like a, like three millimeters <laughs> within range. So I was able to take that shot and take out three guys. The Goblin Wolf. You needed, you needed uh, eights there, so it was a pretty darn good roll. Took out three guys on four dice. Uh, three. Eights. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember. Mm. <laughs> but these guys, uh, they failed their activation, so they came up, but they couldn't twist like I wanted them to. And then I went with these goblins here, straight back behind them. And I uh, wanted to leave them some room, so if they want to twist, they can do so. And uh, poor Goblin Mage forgot to move, <laughs> so she's, she's left in the dust behind everybody. Mm. And, uh, she got her spell off too, though, didn't she? She did, yep. I am four for four on spells. Okay. So let's go to turn three now. Uh-huh. Is Mara... Nine, nine, seven, seven, three, four. It's three, two. four. Okay, awesome. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to check the range there, and I think I'm going to be able to do that. Let's see if I can activate here. Ooh. Am I within six of the captain? I am. So needing double threes. All right, needing a three, a one, three. Okay. We do get it. Yes. And so what we're going to do, Chris, we're going to swing them in. Let's see. You want me to? I'm trying to figure out if I... Yeah, let's go ahead and pivot that way. Okay. And then I will be within six, and to me it looks like I'm definitely in your front. Okay. So let's go ahead and scoot them over as they make that charge. <laughs> that is interesting how they went from here to... To here, but it is just barely enough room to make a combat. All right, so All right. you'll be able to choose whether to shield or not. What's your combat value? Uh, one plus three for four. So fours against my tens, and I am fighting at fours against your nines. Mm-hmm. But you're the undead. I I will shield here. Okay. So fours against your tens. So you're looking at shielding. Six. We're getting sixes here. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, fours against your nines. Let's see if I can do fives here. Three. Okay. Go ahead and activate that unit. Does it take away one additional for morale? Yeah, I'm going to do that calculation right now. So okay. three goes to two. One more. Like that. Okay. Your unit is activated. Yes, he's activated. And you get to choose what to do here. I guess I'll go back an inch. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. Didn't work out as well as I had hoped. Yeah. Um, as it does provide some cover for the archers. Out of command range. Command is probably not going to do much right over here. I think I'd... I like to go with the Prince Linebreaker unit, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna mm -hmm. go with these guys over here. Let's go with these uh, archers. So rolling, they get their activation. I'm very confident I'm able to. I am not fire over with these guys. Yeah, but you have line of sight to the side, no problem. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna take my shot here. We'll shield. You need eights again. 
So again, two, three, four against tens. Oh yeah. So yeah. Sixes. You need sevens. So now sixes. Okay. Okay. Now it's, it's sixes with four dice. Okay. Sixes. I got two of them. Okay. All right, that means my morale is a five for the prince. They are okay there. And their second thing, I guess I'll just... Uh, I can't even pivot. <laughs> I'm going to step to the left like that. Okay. Wait, that's stupid. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay there. This is, this is, I'm going to go as close to the edge as I can. That's what I'll do. All right. Um, let's try the prince's unit. Okay. Three dice. Uh, he does get it. He's going to use his turn the line in order to pivot. And I'm going to change his tray real quick before I do that. That's his heroic ability. Yes, yes. All right, Kritz, in a gutsy move, Prince Gabriel has uh, wheeled, and he moved forward seven and a half inches. Oh, gutsy, gutsy. Uh, kind of exposing his rear, but uh, household guard have his back, so just be cautious. I see that, I see that. Okay. Um, what shall I do? What shall I do? Hmm. <laughs> Charging them is dangerous, <laughs> but also awesome. What do I do? Mm. What do I do indeed? Um... When in doubt, catapult out. I'll go with the catapult. Okay. Uh, they activate. This that six is just what the goblins need. Still shooting the same target. Still uh, get five dice. Twos against nine sneak sevens. And there's two hits. Okay. Two hits there. That means my morale becomes a six. Within six inches of a captain. They are okay. Okay. Good news for them. Um, they are no doubt the closest. Just I can though. shoot at the closest. Can I get 20 inches from here to the Sumra? Yeah. You are at you're at twenty inches there. Let's see if we can't put some wounds on it. I since, don't think anyone else is visible. <laughs> since it, it, I mean, it also because it's a large unit, you can oh, shoot yeah. at the closest the large closest unit. Closest large unit. Yep. Uh, six one four. So they are good. Shoot three versus the Sumra. Chilling two at twelve defense. So I just need nines here. Uh, one five one. That's no bueno. Is just gonna move them up to here. Okay. And they're done. Okay. Um. Suppose what I'll do is I will activate the dwarven mage before activating. <laughs> I pivot like this. Okay. I guess, and I will activate the dwarven mage. He's needing a four. He gets it. Let's cast fleet foot on the Sumra, who is larger, so I can see him, even though there's a bunch of units in the way. Mm -hmm. Two dice here, looking for the five. Let me re-roll whatever it is. It's uh, unless it's a miss, which it is. Not a four. So, see if I get the five. It is good. So, I've got five out of five on spell casts. All right. Doggo says what roll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that direction. See if I can activate him on a four. It does activate, and all he's going to do is discorporate. Yes. <laughs> it's right there. Okay. Be a nuisance for as long as he can. Whoa. Forgot to move my dwarven mage. Go ahead and move him. Okay. He was just going to go forward. I rushed you. It was my fault. I allowed myself to be rushed. Um, you sitting and waiting, Calvary. <laughs> I'm going to go with the soldiers. Let's get some fight going on. Yes, six is good. Um, I suppose I'll just charge you because there's no reason to wheel and do any of that. Okay. So, but I don't know. I'm not an orc, so I don't have charge. I do have a charging one. Okay. You do. 
Charging one turns my fight a one to a two, three, four. Okay, I am fight two, plus I have a full rank that'll make it a fight three. Okay, nine defense for me. Uh, ten defense for me. Okay, so my I need sixes, and you need sixes. I'm not going to shield here. Pro oh, pretty even battle here. All right, looking for sixes. No champion or anything, even though you got it. Two hits. All right, also needing sixes. Uh-huh. Uh, three hit. Oh, because the champion dice. Mm-hmm. Yes, so I take off three. Oops. We take off two. Let's push you back six inches. All right. After we do morale checks. After we do morale checks. So, three here. I'm at a seven. I'm at an eight, I think. Because <laughs> six to nine to eight, right? Because mm -hmm. of um, flank bonus. So, uh, rank bonus, yeah. Ten, I got that. And I got mine. Okay. All right, straight uh, back. I'm going to look back and see what I rolled because I'm activated. Okay. I, I needed sixes. I got two sevens. You didn't get any sixes. Yeah. Yeah, so I there was nothing that would have been close yeah. enough. Okay, so... So my guys go straight back. So they do. Go six. So let me see where that lands me. It should be enough, and then one inch. We'll just move them back, and then when we move these guys back, we'll move them up so they're an inch away. Okay. You know what I mean? Yep. That is the smarter way to do things. How dare you? So keep moving, keep moving those duders back. There's six right there. Okay. Uh, okay, six right there, and then this is gonna be one inch away. From the corner of this model to up here. Okay. Right? Yep. Okay. That wasn't wise of me. Alright, that opens up some options. Let's um let's go with the archers over here. Okay. 199, they will go ahead and activate. Okay. And I think we're gonna go back at the Sumra, because there's no way that thing goes down unless I can shoot at some. Yeah. So uh, needing nines again. Okay. Uh, seven seven five, nothing there. All right. Um, I'm running out of guys. The internet told me I was just supposed to shoot the Sumer, Chris. I don't understand why this isn't working. Maybe you're not shooting it enough. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a few more times. Uh, <laughs> all right. So here is here's what she's gonna do. She's gonna start her turn spinning. Okay. Let's see if I can get her to activate on a six. I do not. Okay, so I guess she's just going to move forward six. And that's all she can do. Wow, this game is broken. <laughs> we're we're going to go with we're going to go with Piper. Um, okay. She's going to go Those guys have aimed fire. She's going to yes. go ahead and turn. <laughs> see if she activates on a 5, 6 5 she does. Let's try to seize the initiative. Okay. On an 8. Ooh. 7 6 uh. she does not. And she's gonna move this way six inches. Okay. And that's gonna be it for her. Okay. I'm gonna try to go with the spearmen. Five, six, they're good. To get off this thing, <laughs> I need another at least okay, so I'll just I'll just make my move of uh, what is it, two and a half? Uh, yep, that's your half move. Okay, so two and a half puts them here. And then I guess I'll just go up another one and a quarter just because I'm still kind of on it. I'm giving up the high ground, eh? I'm joining the game! <laughs> We're on the rock and everyone's mm -hmm. fighting all around them. <laughs> uh, let's go with Godina here. Nina five. Nine, ten. Let's try to cast fireball on a seven. She gets a third dice, but she's not going to need it. Okay. And she's going to go with the spearman again. Okay. And so two dice. Shoot four. She needs sixes. Eight, two. Eight hit. Let's take one off. Okay. Let's roll their morale. They are good. And after that, she's just going to go ahead and move up a little bit. Okay. I assume she had line of sight on them. If not, it was an 8-2. Yeah, you're good. So after she moves, she moves. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Gotta re-roll everything now. <laughs> Your cavalry have not gone. They have not. Okay. Not sure. 
See, I got my token here, and it's uh, on the white side. Red means stop. Oh, I, yeah, I saw you just flip that. All right, let's go ahead and go with our but leader the camera here. camera didn't. Who just got pushed up. So, 887, they're good. My move of 5 is at a 7. I don't think that's going to be enough to fully clear my guys. So what I'm going to do here is I guess I'll just come over, oops, 3.5 to that. And then I guess my second move is going to be three and a half forward. Yeah, uh, why is it three and a half at this point? Because uh, five goes up to seven. My movement is seven. Okay. So then my second, so my first one's halved because it's sideways. Gotcha. And my second one's halved because it's a second action. Okay. So we just kind of fix the problem we created <laughs> by doing that. All right. Um, time out. Sure. I, I cheated. This has defense, not fleet foot. Okay. So. Let's uncheat. That's why we have tokens. Yeah. I was like, I have a spell token. Yeah, it's not the right one. Okay, so I'm five. So I go two and a half sideways. Good catch, by the two way. Two and a half forward. Thank you. I, uh, I've made quite a few mistakes in my day. Okay. Okay. Let's try to activate the spearmen who are within six inches of the captain. Okay. Uh, they will on a 1 6 10. They're going to go ahead, wheel that way. Charge my flank. Go forward six inches of an already activated unit. Uh huh. Boom. Get as close as we can to you. Uh... Okay. And so I am fight three at this point. Yep, against my nine. So needing sixes. I will go up to fight four because I'm on your side. Yep. So I'll needing need fives. fives. Ooh, and you can't shield. Chance at the 10. Uh, take two. Okay, I respond with two. Yep, and, and you are at fight minus one so at this point? fight one against your nines? Uh, should be fight one against my nines. Wait, yep. no, fight zero. You don't get the rake bonus because it's on the flank. Well, I'm normally, a, oh, I'm normally a one. Okay. Yeah. So you so activate need, it? Yep, I need nines or tens. Nine, take that. Okay. But you did win that. I did. So... Um, what would you remember to take off my casualties? Let's roll head, go ahead and roll morale first. Okay. So I lost two guys. I will be fine. Ten is fine. Okay. Can I move back six? That's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> you did um, this. <laughs> you made this bed. You lie in it. <laughs> I think I'm going to come back an inch, buddy. Okay. And they are done there. Okay. So unfortunately, what do you got? The spears and two cavalry, huh? Spears, two, two, and a unit of skeletons. A unit of skeletons. You have four activations? I do. I also have four activations. It's because you activated me on a move <laughs> that you gained ahead in the activations. Well... I'm gonna see what happens with the Wolf Riders. Let's roll three dice. They do activate on their sixes. And even though I might get charged, I also get to do charging. And that's a legendary Captain Hero guy, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So my movement is 10. So what I need to do, I'm gonna wheel off the back guy. Like that. Okay. And then I charge you either in the rear or the flank. It looks like it's going to be side. in the rear. It's Is not, it? Yep. Yeah, let's, uh, because right now my full rank, I have one full rank, and mm -hmm. that looks like that right there. So, oh, because I'm, I'm mostly in the rear then. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or wouldn't I be, oh, I wouldn't be mostly in the side. Okay. Fair enough. You're That's like okay. entirely in the rear, as it were. Okay, I'll take it. Okay. So let's uh, try to hit your unit here as hard as it can. Okay. Knowing what might befall me in a second. Um, I've got charge two. Um, I think you're at sixes, aren't you? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. And then plus the hitting you behind, is it plus one? Um, or is it plus two? It's plus one, but it's minus one for me. Okay, so I'm at sixes to your tens. Yep. So I'm looking for fours. Could be devastating. Nines are doubles, so. 
Hey, <laughs> twice. No, three times. Three times. Okay. Now you do have wild charge on them, right? Uh, the goblin wolf riders do not. Oh, they do not. Okay. Nope. So I'm gonna go with my prince here, who has two command dice. Okay. And is a fight three. Goes down to two for activating and goes down to one for the rear. All right, so I need tens. Okay. Uh, none there. And you said I lost three guys. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's going to make their morale an eight. So they are shaken. Ooh. What are you wanting to do with these guys now? Good question. How close are you? Yeah, we're perfectly six away. <laughs> <laughs> Which you push him back, pushes him back, but I think I kind of like it. I think I want you to come the full six, and then all units have to move an inch away. Or is it Correct. Heal if you don't Correct. touch me? Okay, I'm gonna still do that. I'll move you forward six, like so. I'm just gonna push this unit back one. I'm just gonna push this unit back a little bit. Too. I think your other unit will be fine. If you move these guys back an inch. Oh, because I, I sidestepped. I totally forgot that I did that. Maybe. Okay, that's an inch, but we're too close there. I, I think you're allowed to be that close. We couldn't be because we're enemies and we look like we're in combat. Oh, okay. That was just every unit has to be an inch, but that's only if you bump into them, then you put them back. To I inch. think so. And I haven't bumped them. Like so. most things, it isn't like 100% clear, but I think we can play it that way. Okay, fair enough. All right, uh, well, let's answer with my own cavalry. Yeah. 7-1. Uh, they're charged rear. straight forward, and the majority of my officer is in your rear. Yep, high number. So I am on 7s right here. Okay, to my 11s, so you need 4. So I need 4. I roll needing 4. Uh, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Gonna be shaking here, probably. As my six needs nine now. And you get two guys at two combat dice each. So I think you're throwing four back at me. So it's minus one for the rear, so I'm down to one and I'm activated, so it's zero. So I need tens and then eights. Yes. Okay. Giving me a ten. Nope. So zero back at you. Here is my morale roll. I get two dice. Do you have the battle honors? Wondering if I'll need it. So four brings me to tens, right? Yes. But I do have one four rings, so is it nine? No. Nope. Okay. No. Nope. It's only two four rings. Two four rings. So I need a ten. So let's see if I get that ten. I got the ten. We're gonna take a step back. Okay. Sorry, Gabriel. <laughs> we thought we would like disrupt them for you. Well, I mean, you did kill four wolf riders and I killed three of <laughs> Gabriel's unit. But the guys in the front didn't see anything, so it was like, it didn't happen. Right, yeah. <laughs> Time to go with this captain unit right here. Let's make our roll. I got six, which is perfect. That's what I need. So what we're going to do is we're going to march. Well, first we're going to wheel. We're not going to march first, because my border guards need to be able to see. So wheel first. Then let's march forward our, our goblins. Yes, six. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Okay, and they go there. That light cavalry is so dis... or medium cavalry. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's go with these spearmen. Okay. Three dice because they're within six inches of the shadow captain. I think what we want to do is go forward six inches. And we can call that a day. Okay. Um, time to take these kind of useless border guards over here. <laughs> Three <laughs> one. They're even more useless. So my hopes of pivoting and shooting things. Now we did say, Chris, if they get up on the hill, they can see over. You still want to do that? I do. Okay. So I get to move five forward, and I am slightly on the hill. Yep. Do you want the unit leader to have to be on the hill, or just one guy? Uh... We'll talk about it at break. Okay. Um, uh, especially how we do it going forward. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and pass with these skeletons for now. 
Do okay. I want to pass or do I want to wheel them in? We're going to pivot them. Okay. No, we're going to wheel them in. So close. You probably could move the bar guest further back as your intention is to make it so I can't charge him, and I totally can. Okay. Because <laughs> I can hit the corner, right? Uh, okay. Thank you for that. Probably, probably more, sir. Because I have to be able to knock... I mean, you would knock the house, though, is, is what I'm oh, thinking. Oh, the, the roof, then? Is the roof going to be blocking people? Well, this know. this would block you right here at yeah, some point. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I can... I'm, tw I'm charged of 12, so it's very easy for me to to at least get the corner past the house. Okay. Okay, now you're perfectly good. All right. I know your intention. I didn't want to just be like, well, I charge you now. <laughs> Fair enough. Thank you for that. You're welcome. All I've got left is this Serva, and I don't feel like getting charged for six. Correct? Uh, yes, that's correct. Okay. Well, first I need to try to activate. I do, but honestly, I think I'm just going to hang out right where I am and pass with the Serma. It feels bad, but a good way to die is to move up into the, to the cavalry's charge range. Uh, cavalry also doesn't want to die. <laughs> These units. <laughs> we'll stay put. All right. On to round two. All right. So that was a really... Fun, interesting round that we're going to go to round four, my friend. <laughs> round four, okay, that's right. Um, unfortunately, I think I got the worst of it because these guys are now shaken. Chris's lines are in good order, and that might be all the difference in the world. Yeah. So this, this morale check will be big. Let's see what we get. Okay. Not morale check. Um, this eight five. It's pretty good. Ten. Ten four. Good buddy. You are such a failure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll reset the board and come back. All right, Chris, we're back for turn four. There's lots going on. This is yep. one of the really things that make Oathmark great, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Like, you have all these choices. You have some bad situations. There's something to be hit anywhere. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use command on this uh, Goblin Captain unit. Okay. The Wolf Riders are within six. So first I'm going to try for the unit using command. Needing a six with three dice, they do get it. Okay. Let's try with the Wolf Riders, needing a six as well. Nine is good there. So I will be going with each of them. Let's go ahead and charge into the side of the cavalry here. Mm -hmm. Which will activate them. Which will activate them and myself. And now uh, I've got a glorious fight of, uh, well, one, two, three, four, because I'm hitting your side. Yes. These guys are kind of weak. Against my armor 12. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. Yeah. Needing eights. It's not weak. Yeah, I'm well, just fight one. <laughs> when when I was playing fight three with the orcs, right? With charge and wild charge. Oh, I have charge. Thank you. You counted that. I, I think. I did it. One. Uh, so I'll be up to fives. These guys are so weak. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for. Let me hit me you with my charge <laughs> five now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So charge. Yeah. Now it's a little bit better. Because yep. <laughs> one and then charge makes it two, three, four, hitting your side for five. Yep. Okay. So I need sevens. Kill the cavalry. I'm going home. I'm so sorry. Uh, so I'm that's so one, sorry. two, three, four, five, six. I'm so sorry. That's not a champion dice. He's he's a captain, right? So it's not a champion yeah, dice. You're yeah, correct. Yeah. Oh, so just five. Just. I get one back at you. You get two, right? Because you're combat two on that. Uh, no, because well, yeah, you're right. Um, I am fight two. So the seven will hit me. Yeah. So take one. Oh boy! 225 points is gonna hurt. <laughs> um, I bet. Let's take a morale test. Oh, wait, six, but I have the rank. Mm -hmm. So six is good. Okay. Now uh, these guys got the command to charge the back of this unit here. Okay, I am disrupted, so that's gonna be a fight minus one. I'm gonna char uh, fight with the prince again. Okay. So these guys have fight four against your ten. But I'm hitting behind, so I have five. Yep. It's your ten, so I need yep. fives. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I get some fives. How about three fives? That ten will count for two. It's four hits. Uh, my human prince gets his two dice. He's at minus two right now, so he needs tens. Yeah, tens. Okay. Uh, nothing there. It makes his morale. 
Uh, probably minus. not. Let's see. I've lost four guys. Oh, yeah. Minus five. No, he needed a ten there. Because you have less than a full rank. So he's going to go ahead and panic, which is going to cause Cascading Oh, no. Okay. I think it's that Spearman and probably that guy. That one might be far. Well, this the skeletons will pass regardless. Oh, yeah. They don't, they don't care. <laughs> Who's the leader? So let's check the Spearman. Seven, four, they're fine. These guys as well. Okay. Uh, five, two, they're Very fine. Good. Okay. Left flank has collapsed. Uh, that That's went well. Let's take a break. Okay. Great play. Chris obviously hurt quite a bit, so uh, yeah. let's see if I can claw it back. I'm going to start with this unit of spearmen right here. Activating. They're not going to activate. <laughs> so, go Boy, ahead. Earthmark sure is fun, huh, Michael? <laughs> let's go ahead and... That's all they want to do anyway. <laughs> Boy, this game is going okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh, I want to, I want you to, I don't know. I'm going to go with these spear guys here. Wait, if I, if I wheel and then I charge you to the side. You will hit my side. I will hit your side. Yeah, it's only if you okay. hit the corner that you have to do the gotcha. laser. Okay, so let's try to go with those guys. Needing a four. <laughs> I think it's good. What do you think? 10-10 ten, ten should be okay. Yeah. I mean, even goblins activate with the 10 10. So I'm going to kind of wheel that much Kay. and then charge. Okay. Shall hit your side. And. I'll get three dice here. I will get five. So the spearmen have fight of two and I'm hitting your side. So fight of three against your nines. Mm hmm. I need sixes. Mm hmm. Needing a six. Take two. Okay. Coming back at you with three dice. So and fight one. So I need nines. Yep. Uh, nothing there. Okay. So I'll lose an additional guy. These guys are now activated. And I suppose I'll push you this way an inch. Okay. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Almost. Let's go with uh, the captain back here. Okay. He will activate. Let's shoot at the Sumra. Okay. Three dice, D nines. Give it to him. Oh, There's one. Take blood. a wound. Blood. What's he got? Five left? <laughs> uh, is it six? Five or six? I'll double check. You got a Sumra card? No. I didn't print out the neutral monsters. We don't need to know right now. Okay. Yep. I'll check in a sec. Um, Unless he has one wound. <laughs> <laughs> then he's super dead. <laughs> the catapult is gonna try to go now. Okay. Meaning, I don't know. Uh, not that. I don't think. And you're within six. Oh, because you pushed me back. Okay, that's right. Uh, okay. Still not shooting, right? So, still gonna. And a shoot, minus one, yeah. Shoot this one, but my uh, my shot of three goes down to a one now. It does, because you can't quite yeah. see three. So I am now rolling four dice as well. So you need eights. I need eights for the four dice. Two hits. Okay, well done. Very good roll. Uh, morale is a six, uh, four, eight, and I got a third dice there because of the captain, but uh, won't need it. Let's go to this archer unit. And let's see if they activate on three dice. Three, nine, two, they do. Let's go back after the Sumra. Okay. Nine. Need nines. Oh, There's a ten. Wound. Flip that one over. Isn't that, is that a two? Okay, ow. And uh, I don't think I want to charge here, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and pass with my second action. Okay. Um, I really want to go with this one and go into them, but I know if I lose the battle again, you're gonna push this unit back again. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Robble Rock here. Okay. Robble Rock rolls three, four, seven, so he's good. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna charge. This unit. Okay. This is as close as I can get. Yep. And I've activated, so that means I'm going to be a fight one here. Okay. My fight of three is going to go up to five for ranks. We're shielding. You are shielding. Yep. Okay. 
So I have fight five against your nines. Mm -hmm. So I need fours. Oh, you added champion dice? I think champion dice need fours. Oh, so great roll. One, two, six? three, four, five, six. Okay. In response, um, I get four dice. I need tens and some help. Uh, nothing there as I go one, two, three, three. So six, you say? Yeah. This poor unit. This is a pretty decent roll. <laughs> this is the bright Chris Peterson game. This is, uh... Any tens here? No. So they're going to be shaken as well. This and... might be one of our shorter bat reps. <laughs> yeah. I am having a great time with this game, though. So Good. Uh, I'm glad. What do you want to do with them? Um, well, I, I guess I'll just come back an inch. Which, judging by where that skeleton sits, is going to put me right there. Okay. Seems right. Let's go with uh, Goldie Knight here. Need okay. a 5. A uh, 1 8. Let's see if she can cast a fireball. Uh, she can not. Yeah, that was that, but that was my target. <laughs> and so I'm going to go with 10-2. I'm going to step sideways, uh, two and a half, which is the whole... Who, who are you going to be shooting at? Because you probably got line of sight to him right now before you move. Well, I'm still going to go up here. Oh, well, you mean I can shoot first and then move? Yeah, it depends who you want to shoot. Cavalry. So you definitely have the cavalry in sight. Yeah. Which, okay, so I've got a great shoot of three. Yep, I got a defense of 13. Shields? Yes. You have 12s, right? You said they were... The medium cavalry. Oh, they're, they're now they're over there. Both, they're not both medium. No. Oh, boy, I need 10s. Yeah. So at least it's not 11s. Yeah. Give me one! There's one. Okay. Um, you threw one too many dice, because I did say oh, shields. You did say shields. I will reroll that. Give me a 10! Okay. Not this time. Okay, but now I'm going to sidestep two and a half up here. And now that the unit leader, as we discussed, is on top of the hill, yes. he can see over other units. Yes, they're high up. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go with these spearmen. They're just going to pass, buddy. Okay. I'm going to go with these archers all the way over here. Yeah, they're going to pass. I'm activated. I forgot to flip this token. Uh, going all the way over here. Okay, I get it. Let's go ahead and I don't know if I can actually wheel. I can wheel here. Mm -hmm. ah, let's do that. And then I move forward seven. That's my movement, and that is their turn. Let's try Piper. She will activate. Let's try seize the initiative again. Uh, she will get it this time. And she's going to move forward six inches. Okay. So I'll be rolling four dice instead of two. For future initiative rolls. Okay. Ooh. Um. Go ahead and go with the goblin mage. I guess getting six, eight is good. We're gonna run forward six spaces, out this way. And then let's go ahead and cast fleet foot. I guess on this unit, just in case they need it to. Okay. So I am rolling two dice. Need a five. Did not get it this time. Okay. Gonna pass over here. Okay. This dwarven unit is gonna go right here. I don't want to pass here. Do you mind if I change that? Yes. Up? Yeah. There's no good choices here. We're gonna pass over here. Your okay. turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go here unless you're not gonna pass over. There. <laughs> All right. Let's go with this uh, dwarven mage. He does make his activation. I'm gonna try fleet. Oof. Actually, first I'm gonna. If that was really cruel, I'd try to pick it defense one on him, but I'm not a uh, cruel man. So I'm going to go like this. I'm still three inches away from this. I can fire over. Let's try to get Fleet Foot on those guys. I get it. So the line breakers are fast. As I continue to cast my favorite spell in the game for the dwarves. Let's go with the War Corgis. A one and three, they won't activate. Oh, those are the cavalry? The heavy cavalry. Okay. Okay. 
but I'm, I'm I gotta figure out how much health I have because I might be half dead. But I, I am gonna charge you the sumer if I can, because this has been the standstill that we've been waiting for. Rar. Take a picture. <laughs> All right, take a picture. All right, before Chris moves, he is uh, attempting to stone gaze the cavalry. Uh, they will be okay. They are activation four. They are activation five. So you need to roll your activation or higher, right? No, activation or lower. Or lower. Yeah, because it's easier to stone stone gaze. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your turn. All right, sorry. No, you're good. You're right. I'm glad we got it right. I don't want no trouble. <laughs> okay. Um, so here's the four dice. Fight six. So I need sevens here because you're 13 defense. Mm -hmm. So looking for the sevens. I got two hits on that. Okay. I am fight three versus your uh, 12. 12. So yeah. I need nines. Uh, none there. Okay. And you said you two? Yep. You guys don't deserve to carry a corgi on your banner. <laughs> I'll come back an inch. As my morale is at a minus three at this point, because I don't have a full rank, so I need an eight. Let's go ahead and shake these guys. What else could not go your way? <laughs> See if the bar guest can activate. <laughs> two five, it does. And come over here. I think this corporate is a full turn, by the way. It is. Okay. But at least he's coming in to do uh, dark doggy things. Well, I mean, the Sumer could just turn around and eat him. <laughs> yes. Maybe. <laughs> you see the initiative. That is true. <laughs> All right. Does it have nimble at least? It has to, right? Because it just phases in and out? I don't think so. Oh, no. But, I mean, it has a move eight, so. Okay. Probably good. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Three dice on these guys. Let's clobber some more skeletons. Maybe. Yeah, four's good. Um, let's charge. Oops. Or sidestep charge. It doesn't really. Okay. Alright, my guys have activated, so they are now a fight one. Okay, my uh, two, three. I am at four, so I need fives. Your shielding? Um, I can't. I'm undead. Oh, that's right. I'm shield. Okay. Thanks for bringing it up, though. <laughs> Just another thing in this game, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here is... <laughs> uh, two, three... I have fours. Yep. So I need fives. Uh, take two hits. Okay. And my ones versus your tens. Okay. So I need nines. Uh, nothing so there. Slow. So I'll lose an additional guy. The skeleton's doing the best for me right now. You have a full rank. I don't think you lose that guy. Oh, thank you. You're right. Yeah. Every little bit. <laughs> okay, I am out of activations. I just have these guys, and they're not going to be able to do a whole lot because of the way they're facing. and They're somewhat boxed in. So I'm going to just wheel off my leader. Which Why don't you pivot off your officer? You probably at least go in the direction you want to go in this that guy one. right here. This guy right here. Oh, it kills like right here. You could just. Shoot. I just went off this guy's corner too. You good like that? Okay, that's yeah, cool. Yeah. This is all I wanted, and then uh, that will make me out of guys as well. All right, uh, let's go ahead and roll for initiative. Okay. Two, three, seven, eight. Fours. All so right, I something fun something. happens. To reset the board. Okay. All right, so we go to turn five. Chris, what's the 4-4 four, four do? Uh, I get to make a ghostly apparition. I think I get this one at least once a game, <laughs> it seems like. Now, you did put them near the captain, but there are a yeah. lot of guys here. Nina, five. Yeah. Uh, they are fine. Archers. Okay. Are fine, and the captain himself is not fine. Oh. He sees the corgi. <laughs> and he knows a, that as... With how this battle has gone, the corgi will be punishing him. <laughs> Look at how great that corgi is. Yeah. All right. Um, so I need a shaken token there. As now I have used all my shaken tokens. They're all on the battlefield. As I'm going to attempt to activate the bar guest on a four. Yep. A nine six. 
he will go ahead and charge up, buddy. All right. Now, he doesn't have nimble, but at a 12, he can go six inches, and that is well within range. Yep, so the first one's three. The second one is definitely enough. Yeah. Or the first one's four, actually. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So he's hitting my side here on the archers. He is? Ghost doggy phased into existence to so my left. His fight's normally three. So then I'll go up to a four. And he has four command dice, and he is a monster. So four against your armor of well, nines? I am probably... Yeah, it's nines, because I'm okay. the border guards. That means I need fives. Okay. Uh, three. One, two, three. And I think I have wild charge one, so I will be re-rolling that one. But let's oh, see what you roll with your yeah. two first. Okay. Uh, twos, I'm not very good at melee. Fight of zero. What's your defense? Uh, my defense is a solid ten, uh, 11. Okay. Tens and re-roll. Tens and get it eight. Oh, nope. Okay, let's uh, wild charge that. Oh, Taking there two there. I'm gonna re-roll <laughs> to ten and eight. Okay, no. <laughs> so you end up losing five you of the border my guard. Full back flank there with that, and you're horrific. I am. So I get one chance. So already I go. Now, I think you might be within six of Rebel Rock's unit. Rebel Rock. This is Rebel Rock. Exactly. That's all right. So <laughs> so one chance. You saying all dwarves look the same? Is I that am. What you're saying? <laughs> all right. So one chance, you only get one shot. Is two good enough? Uh, it is not. Oh, was it close? Let's push them. Let's 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 move back an inch. Okay, you could you could say you're king of the hill. Okay. Push them six inches. Um, that five's not going to hit because you have the high ground here, and uh, that's only going to hit twice. So you're going to end up losing four. Okay, I'll leave so, one on, but I still totally whiff that. Okay, activation roll. But yes. I remember that though. And they are activated. You can push me six and call yourself king of the hell. Oh, I could do that. <laughs> no, we're good. Okay. And flip both of them over if you would. Yep. Thank you. Where do you want to go? Um, I think the Sumer wants to keep trying to beat. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably get command in because that's probably I should have gone back one off. I can't be there. <laughs> Asterisk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's do this. Let's go here, and let's command here. Okay. Because that is within six. Yes. Okay, so let's start off... Oh, this, could, this would be a really neat move to see, and end the game on. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you got to start with this unit. I do. Okay, do. so rolling three dice, hitting four. He does. I now do. you roll for your wolf riders. Now I roll the wolf rider, needing a six, eight, and I still haven't used the battle honor, but saving it just for this. I think if... Oh, I don't know if I can actually hit you. Because I can't charge through my own guys. Correct. And I'm not going to be able to clip you. No! Uh, Maybe. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's good. That's yeah, good. I think you're going to be fine there. Oh, perfect. Here goes my charge for 10 because of my uh, spell that was cast upon these. Mm -hmm. So I'm hitting your side here. Mm -hmm. Um... Four, five, because the side. Five against your nines. I need fours. Looking for fours. That's one, two, three, four, five hits. Ha ha ha, one back at you. Uh, okay, so these guys are gone. Yes. Oops. Oops. Oh, that guy's dead. <laughs> he falls off. What do goblins say when you fall off the goblin? All right, fall off the wolf. Uh. Get back on the wolf. You don't remember? <laughs> no. It's just an old goblin saying oh, you no. said. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Okay, which is going to allow these guys to charge. Okay. And I'd really like to try to hit those spears behind. And Now you've already activated them. Oh, yes, them. I have. So I just go ahead and move forward. Clink. And let us go ahead and make this attack roll as well. Okay. So I, I will shield here. Fives. So I need fours. Mm-hmm. Um, six, six, six. So, oh, four guys? Four guys. I am fight three versus your 12. Okay, yep. Nueve. Take one. Ah. Four guys makes my leadership a nine. 
Uh, get a nine here. Okay. I get a nine. I'm good on my morale, too. You do win. Uh, I guess I will go back an inch. Okay. Okay. Okay, Chris, at this point, I would like to concede. I'll, I'll accept the concession. All right. And now, since, since I conceded, it, Gabriel will get a plus one to his roll. Okay. <laughs> Not really. All right, <laughs> so I'm going to roll for Gabriel. Okay. Uh, five. He's not dead. <laughs> so that's good news. Um, your commander, Prince Rubble Rock, resounding victory. Yes. See, Bori wasn't even here. Bori wasn't here, and neither was... Uh, oh my goodness, what's your leader's name? Uh, you Bo know. Bori's the leader. <laughs> oh yeah. Bori Two Shields? No, no Gilly Two Shields. Gilly, uh, Bori's not even here. Yeah. And look how much better your, your dwarves and... Goblins with, performed. With, without being uh, led by, what do you call a terrorist? A rabble-rouser terrorist. This guy was was uh, introduced at the start of the game as being in, by the way. If you didn't see him in there, that's because he wasn't actually in the list. <laughs> he made a surprise appearance and didn't make his way to the table because I messed up. No worries. This, this was a really fun game. Let's roll to see uh, who is going to have the initiative next time. Okay. As I got a six... Three. Three. Ooh, this so, sounds like a more weighty battle. So it will be me. No, I win. So it's going to be the six. It is a weighty battle, but I think it's the border strike as, support, uh, as opposed to the border clash. But yeah. we'll check it out and come back with the wrap up. Because it's 9, 10, 7, 8, and then 5, 6. So I know this is the third level. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. It might even be 10. All right. Great game. Good game. Let's come back and talk about it. All right. YouTube channel where we just had a fantastic time playing some more Oathmark. Oh my gosh. I got my butt handed to me, but I felt pretty good about it. Yeah, I did the butt handing and I, I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that didn't sound... <laughs> so, uh... Let's we'll start again? <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's go over a couple things that we finished the game on. Number one, Gabriel uh, took a flush wound, so that uh -huh. means he's immediately available. Yeah. Uh, he participated in the battle, but did not survive. That's worth ten points. Yeah. And that's it. Now your Prince Rubble Rock, yes. he fought in the battle, he survived the battle, and he won the battle. That's a total of 30 points. Uh, unfortunately, he's not legendary. Did you not have a legendary today? I didn't have a legendary today. I had battle honors. So zero points. Zero points. But my battle honor unit did take out Prince uh, Gabriel's And then unit. some. And then some. Yeah. So he actually gained, I think you only get one battle honor a game still. Right. So he's going to, they're going to be able to go up to battle honor two if I want. Whoa. Which is the uh, 240 point <laughs> Goblin Wolf Riders. Target on their backs. Yeah, right? So, but that's kind of cool. They're my veterans. Now, when you lose so. some, it's only if the unit's wiped out that you have to worry, right? Yeah, and then I, if I lose the whole unit, I roll on a table. Okay. Much like when you lose the legendary heroes. Okay. And if I want, I can still put a, I can still put a champion in that unit. I can, I can take one out, basically. But I can't increase it to like a... And there's no way to increase it. But I couldn't make it like a, a full 20-man squad if I was a regular soldier unit or something like that. So, yeah. Well, let's talk about this game. So this was our first 2,500-point game. Yes. And I thought that was brilliant. It felt good. We had some of everything. Or at least I did. I did too. Okay. Well, I didn't have a catapult. Right. I thought yeah. we'd agree that we weren't bringing catapults. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. I don't think... I think it was two catapults max, and we uh. feel, and we feel bad bringing more than one. <laughs> we bring one, right? Uh, oh God, they're so good. They're so good. It's you know what? Yeah, go ahead. It's an eighty-point unit. Yeah. And I, I, I took out. Well, the, the end of the story is I took out points, and it didn't die. It was <laughs> never threatened. Never threatened, exactly. Um. So even if I killed five units, like. Or two units. At least I'm getting something and you're not. Mm -hmm. So there, there is that aspect. Mm -hmm. So also good. Sumerus. Yeah, too good. I, yeah, I, I kept shooting at it like the internet told me to, and it, it wasn't helping, Chris. Yeah, know. yeah, but the internet's never wrong. So no. maybe you should just keep shooting them. And uh, I, 
Look, I took a couple of, of risk in the game. Uh, I think uh-huh. I got out deployed on my left flank by your right flank. And I was going to kind of even those odds with Piper casting the spell, which would give your archers minus yeah. one. She fails both turns. I'm, trying twice. I, I started getting planked pretty heavily. Yeah. And, yeah. and I had to do something. Yeah. And so I forced the issue by using Gabriel's uh, turn the line. Mm-hmm. And moved them very far forward. That opened up a charging avenue for my medium cavalry. Everything yeah. went to plan. It would have been better if Gabriel could have charged, but you charged me with the goblins. Gabriel wins that fight. Everything's looking good. Uh-huh. You do what I thought you might do, in that you activate the wolf riders. Yeah, yeah. You charge in the back of Gabriel. Gabriel survives, gets pushed forward, but now I can charge with my medium cavalry, right, which is what I need to charge. do. Take out four wolf riders. You roll a 10. I roll a 10. Everything collapses on my left after that because in the very next turn, very smartly, you win uh, You win initiative, you command, which is one of the great things that you can do. Yeah. And both those units activate and both those units oh my wipe out gosh. both my units. You guys and, saw that goblin attack. Yeah, you heard Chris just teasing me. He's like, these uh, guys are so weak. Watch as I take I out five w- cavalry. Winch to win. <laughs> like, they were like... Like I need eights. Oh, okay. Eight, eight, nine, nine, ten. <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you do? They're like, so bad. <laughs> that's not even their fault. It's this. <laughs> this is Ant's fault. <laughs> so um, that that was the first risk I took. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And now I'm, I'm definitely losing. Yeah. So then, later on in turn four or five, I have to move my heavy cavalry up in order to occupy the Sumra right. to get my bar guest around and start doing some damage. Yeah. Because. It, as I'm losing, I can't just let the status quo play out. I need to force something. Yep, yep. Uh, the Sumer comes in, stone gazes the guy, a 50-point model, and then comes in and kills two more. Two or two more. Two right? more, yeah. and shakes them. Yeah, and shakes them. Uh, it doesn't take any wounds in return. Yeah. But it does allow my bar guest to come around the side, and he hits the dwarf uh, border guard and takes out four. Yeah. So at least I think I'm showing what the bar gas can do under yeah. the right conditions. It's not an early turn piece. It is a later turn piece that can get in the back lines and start doing some things. Yeah, a flank unit yeah. for some later game. Yeah. Agreed, it still might be over-costed, but you can see where it can so. do. Yeah. Especially with the Sumera being too... Surma. I can't always say that wrong. I think I spelled it wrong on all the cards I printed. The Surma, 240 points. Yeah, so for 40 more points, it's just a beast. Yeah. You can't shoot it. You can't fireball it. You, they're, they're, you can only die. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, if you really built a whole list that was counting Surma, you, you can get some spells in there that are like minus one shielding if you're dwarves, uh-huh. which kind of opens up a little tiny bit more. And then, uh, I don't know, I'm sure there's other spells that... Minus one shielding or minus one to their armor? Anyways. Do both of them. (laughs) It gets really difficult. Yeah, yeah. So, the monsters, you'll hear us talk about them a lot. In fact, our next next podcast video we record, it'll probably be our topic here. The monsters of Oathmark. I don't know if I want to expose myself to that kind of internet hate. Yeah, right? Everyone seems to love these things. Yeah, They're too good. They're too good. So, I'm in total agreement that... To be a fantasy game, it needs a fantasy element, and big monsters yes. are a part of that. Yeah, yeah. I'm all for having big monsters on the field. Yeah, me too. I'd love to see um, your Indrix slash Owlbears. Yeah. And I love the smaller monsters like the Bar Guest uh, that don't feel overpowering. It's just that he got the points wrong. I think so. I he think got so. The points wrong. On the big ones. Yeah. Any, any monster that's over like 200 points. Doesn't guarantee you'll win, although it practically guarantees you win if you're the defender on certain scenarios. Sure. Uh, but we have taken measures to, to bring him in line, and this was one of the battles where we could both bring monsters, and it was fun to have all the monsters on the field. But yeah. We I'm might just, talk about it. I'm just the jerk that brought the better monster and a catapult. <laughs> so, I did, yeah. I did bring a few of the a few of the units that we consider overpowered this game. I brought them, so that was the thing, too. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, 
overall, I'm pretty happy with the... I just wanted to make that Prince Rob Rock's line breaker unit do some cool stuff. So. And he certainly did. Yeah. But getting that first turn defense cast on him saved so much archery fire, too. It's just... Things... <laughs> the first two rounds... Three rounds. All game. Things just, <laughs> things just broke really well for, for me. Um, which... I, I seem to be either hot or cold. Feast or famine. Or more like... I'm either feast for most of the game, or famine at the start of the game, and then I come back with feast and make it close, and we'll see how it goes. This felt there. like a game that we both maneuvered well in, and I think yeah. that's why we're both pretty happy about it. Um, yeah. Again, it didn't work out for me, but I, I don't think I maneuvered poorly. The one thing I would change is I had a unit of skeletons that was out of action the entire game behind yeah. a farmhouse. I set up the board, you pick the side, you pick the side that was better. Okay. Well, would you agree? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, think, I, I so. think you had the better side. I think so. Um, yeah, those fences definitely, they helped the archers a little bit. They did. But, no, I would agree. But at least the building made it hard for the skeletons to engage. Yeah. Um, and there was that standstill. We were locked on the left and right side. Like, So because of my fleet foot, <laughs> I had these units with charge just waiting for your cavalry to go. And your cavalry we were waiting for my guys to go because we each wanted to get that charge bonus. I didn't want to mess with it at all, to be honest. I, w I was thinking of ways that I could just get the cavalry towards the center, uh -huh. and I just couldn't get them past the archers and over that fence. Okay, yeah, okay. Because I didn't want that fight at all. <laughs> I, I would have liked the skeletons to have taken the fight against the Surma and, okay. and just get whittled down. Yeah. The skeletons performed really well today. As usual, they don't kill much, uh, but they take a punch. Yeah, and there's so many of them. You know, both of us got some really good flank charges in. Uh, they worked out better for you, I think. Yeah. In the end, but you know, it, you, you just gotta feel good when the plan comes together, at least. Yeah. And, and you do what you want, and then the dice are gonna do what the dice are gonna do, and that's fine. Uh, but I, I felt like you know I had a number of great flank charges that just mm -hmm. didn't quite pay off. Yeah. Yeah, and and after this, there was a territory that I will be able to occupy now. Yeah, indeed. So what this will do is that is one of the outer ring territories, and what this will do is make it so that whichever unit is in that territory that I'm taking is going to get plus, I'm sorry, minus one to its activation roll mm -hmm. until that territory is freed. Right. Now, I think you did a great job building your kingdom because there's not a lot of juicy targets <laughs> On your outer ring. Right. And you got the Riverlands, you got the Vampire's Crypt, you got the Dark Tower, which is where the Necromancer lives. Yeah. And you got the Barghast Lair. Yeah. I, Barghast, I don't want to give it minus one activation. Vampire activates on a three. On a two. On a two, yeah. So, I mean, I might get one Maybe it's three. one turn every two games uh -huh. <laughs> that, uh, where he fails to activate. And then... Uh, yeah, the troll, the trolls. I went with that, even though you don't bring them very often. I these don't seem to have the most impact. Maybe this time I switch it up and I actually give your uh, your necromancer a little bit harder of a time because adding salt to the wound when it comes to you and mages. Yeah, you know, ridiculous. I don't know why I bring them. They just don't love to keep you. the spell, uh, the the skeletons alive. Just like five out of six spells cast, and like one out of six spells cast. Yeah. And yours just, were harder to cast in some cases, but... Yeah, or uh, yeah, at least that defense 8 right at the start of the game. Yeah. I think it was all fleet points <laughs> after that one. <laughs> it's my favorite spell. It's my favorite it's, spell. It's a good one. It, it's so good. That spell would be more balanced if it didn't... If it was for that round, or, you know, through yeah. that unit's next activation. The yeah. fact that it's permanent, that makes it tough. Yeah. Okay, so the next game that we're going to play is going to be another Border Clash. Okay. This is where we're meeting between the two kingdoms again, and uh -huh. the winner's going to be able to occupy a territory on the outer border of okay. the enemy's kingdom if they win. So this okay. will be another game where you can bring monsters. I'll bring two catapults, and we'll have a good time of it. 2,500 <laughs> points. I am also going to bring two catapults. Don't think I don't own them. I do. Well, you had to borrow crewmen from me today, so maybe true. work on that part. But um, <laughs> it's true. It, it, we have a while to think about this because, unfortunately, yeah. this is your last game here. Whoa! Wait a minute. For a while. Okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, as is tradition, um, when somebody leaves the channel, I like to give them a little. I'm not 
really even chill. I feel like you are. Okay. I hope you're coming back. We have plans for you to come back, but yeah. you're moving away. Yeah. And maybe it's the like previous 25 years of my life when, when people moved away, they were just kind of gone. Uh-huh. So I'm always cautious about these things. But okay. let me grab something real quick. Entertain the people. This is uh, unexpected. Um, yeah, I am moving away. I'm moving uh, to Tennessee, where I will be um, about three and a half hours away. So I still at least plan on coming down and filming once a month with Michael and getting out a bunch of ba- battle reports for you guys. Uh, just because Michael's probably one of the, my favorite opponents I've ever had. And uh, they don't play Oathmark in, <laughs> near Dyersburg, Tennessee. Well, they play Hero, Hero Clicks. Clicks. Okay. Yeah. If I have to. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely plan to come back up. We're going to keep doing battle reports, hopefully. But uh-huh. uh, just in case, while you're down there, 40K is probably the biggest game in the world, as you know. Yeah. And the War Corgi channel gets its name from, of course, the Corgis, but my original chapter from Warhammer 40K is the War Corgis also. Okay. And so they're painted up in the scheme of my color dog, uh, my, the color of my... Uh, dogs. Yeah. And so this is a lieutenant from 5th Company, and he has the War Corgi <laughs> symbol on the right. Oh my gosh. You can bring that with you. Oh, thank you and so if much. And if they trick you into playing Warhammer 40k, <laughs> uh, you've got to start. No, no. It'll never beat Oathmark. It will not. This game is so great. I will trick fun. them into playing Oathmark. <laughs> just use your Space Marines yeah. and have them march around in formations. Right, just put a token on them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't get me started. All right. Uh, That's going to do it. You so You're much. welcome so much. It, yeah. You are my favorite opponent for sure. And uh, uh, I'm definitely going to miss you. But when you come back up, I will have a plan to defeat this devilish goblin dwarf alliance. <laughs> you call the Mithril Alliance. The Mithril Alliance. Yes. So the war presses on. All right. So like and subscribe. We're going to have more Oathmark content. And uh, for all you Legion right. fans, we're going to definitely have a lot more Star Wars Legion content content coming on. Yeah, yeah. Um, Probably not so much for me, though. No, yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> not that you're a bad Sorry, Star Wars Legion com- opponent. It's just I need somebody who rolls regular dice sometimes. <laughs> oh, no. Like like Josh or... Josh. Josh Gary's G- coming on. Gary, Jim, Jameson. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure... Jason Two Toes. Yeah, Jason Two Toes. Get Mark time. to come out this way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, we got plenty of people. Plenty of people. That we can bring on here. Yeah. So. And then uh, hopefully get Adam over here to play some games of both Mark as well. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, Hey, I'm not going to get into it. We got a, we got a website for the uh, campaign. We got a website for our podcast that we do. Go check those things out as well. Uh, if you look for more content for this game. And, uh, yeah. Also join us on Discord. The uh, Oathmark Discord is a fun place. Yeah, we say things. You can come there and tell me how to defeat Sermos. Just shoot it. All right, bye-bye, guys. (laughs) See you guys.